Dave, is this just a, a start off for Cody just to give him a breather? Yeah, <clears throat> he, he wanted to be in, be in there tonight, but I just felt that just to give him a little blow, uh, get Matt Beatty um, in there, get him some at-bats, and, and get Cody back in there tomorrow. With uh, the way that A.J. Pollock is swinging the bat, um, even more of a confidence boost for you putting him in center field, obviously, to give Cody that breather, knowing that uh, the bat is there as well? Absolutely. And I think that A.J.'s in a good place uh, in the box. You know, all he's known, you know, up until last year was center field here in this ballpark. So he feels very comfortable here in center field. So to keep Mookie there, to get Jock in left, and to get Matt's at bats, it kind of all lined up. And um, certainly helps when AJ swinging the bat the way he is. Max Muncie, um, once again in that leadoff spot. What are you liking about that? He had never been there in 2019. He's done it a couple of times this year, obviously um, with the right-handed starter. Uh, what does he give you in that spot? I, I think you know, just being at the top, um, he can slug you. He can get on base. He you know always conducts a professional at bat, and it is certainly a little bit of an adjustment for him. Um, hitting, you know, being the first hitter of the game, especially on the road. But, you know, as the game uh, unfolds, you know, that situation might not present itself again, or it might. Um, so I just encourage him to just be the hitter he is. And if he sees a pitch, the first pitch of the game, and wants to, uh, you know, take a swing, then feel free to do that. And guys behind him conduct those at-bats too. So uh, I appreciate his openness for sure. Um, Mitch White, just an extra arm for you in the bullpen, a fresh arm. Yeah, uh, you know, a few days ago, you know, there were some shorter starts. So to now, um, Tony threw, threw the baseball really well. And then to get uh, Mitchell here, uh, last time we saw him was really good against the Diamondbacks. And so to get him here for some length potentially is certainly nice to have. Okay, thank you, Dave. You got it. Next question from Phil Plunkett for the Bill. Dave, what uh, is your diagnosis of Cody's slow start? Um, <clears throat> well, the contact rate is still good. Um, you know, you know, the angle trajectory is not where we want it to be. Um, he's not punching. So I, I think for him, it's just kind of, there's a combo of just getting his mechanics synced up. I don't, I don't think he looks completely comfortable. He's still trying to figure some things out. Um, I think there's some calls that could go either way that could flip counts and um, he's on the wrong side of those calls. And I, I mean, this is, this is the way it goes sometimes when you're not going well. Um, but it, it's one of those things that's just more magnified right now, but I, I think he'll, he, he'll, he'll work through it. And hopefully today he takes a day to kind of ease his mind, but also get some work in. How does this relate to the uh, the changes he made? Because just to the eye, it looks like he's gone pretty much back to last year's stance. Yeah, um, I think in, in the initial summer camp, it was a little bit, it was more drastic. And I think that over the last, you know, five to seven days, he's trying to go back to uh, what he did last year. And, and so it just doesn't happen. You know, optically, it looks similar. Um, but just the production just doesn't happen quite that easy. But I do think that <clears throat> as he gets more comfortable with that stance and his swing, the mechanics, then it'll kind of get back to more production. When we talked to Mookie last night, he mentioned that he didn't feel comfortable with his swing for a while and that it was, it was difficult in, under the current restrictions to get the extra work in that he wanted to, to work on his swing. Does that apply here with Cody? Has he been able to, I mean, is that why he abandoned the changes? He wasn't able to get as much work or now not getting enough work to I don't to think back? that's the case with Cody. Um, you know, Mookie, um, you know, he, he's a tireless worker. And, um, you know, the staggering of, of the cage time and making sure – too many guys aren't in the cage at the same time in that same space. Um, I think Cody's a little bit of a different situation where he was trying to work on something a little bit different mechanically and, um, and is kind of trying to go back to what he did. So that's a little bit different than I think that, you know, with Mookie's situation as far as um, the potential work that he would have liked to have gotten in. 
Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Next question from Ken Jernick. Go ahead, Ken. Dave, on Mookie's home run, um, I mean, you probably saw Barry Bonds hit some some pitches like that, but on, on a pitch that's that far inside, and you're able to pull it without making a foul. Um, can you talk about how difficult that is, and if there are any other players that you can remember that, are, that were able to do that? He made it look easy. Very few. Uh, I didn't appreciate how good of a piece of hitting that was. And, um, you know, Mookie said that when he feels good, he can cover – you know, many quadrants, many pitches, and obviously he's shown that throughout the years. And I just think that they went to the well one too many times with the changeup, and, uh, you know, he pulled it foul, swung and missed um, in that Astros series, maybe in the Giants series as well on the right-on-right -right change, and uh, saw it, identified it, and just, yeah, the ability to keep that ball fair, really impressive. And then, you know, I think even the at-bat before or the next at-bat, the next at-bat, you know, backing the baseball up and hitting it hard the other way to drive in another run. So really good night at the play for Mookie. Thanks. Next question from Jack Harris. Go ahead, Hey, Dave. Um, I mean, just given all of the things you're talking about with Cody and the changes he was trying to make and the convinced camp, um, is it surprising to you that he's struggling? Did you expect that there might be a transition period like this where he might be in a little bit of a hole? Um, I don't know. Um, I think that for me, you know, Cody was very confident in, in what he came to summer camp with. So I, I think for me, I was just wanting to uh, support him and um, expect good things to happen. Um, so you really never know until you start facing live pitching. And uh, so it, it's you're always trying to tweak things. And, and that's what hitters do. Um, but I'm very confident that, you know, him getting back to what he did last year, uh, he'll find some comfort in his swing. And um, like I said earlier, I think the I know the production will, will, will be there. Yeah. Well, with someone like him and, and just kind of, you know, the team at large when you're a week into the season, does, does having, knowing that the playoff field is expanded, does that take some of the pressure off, um, whether it's with someone individual like Cody, knowing that there's a little more, room for error this year because of that, or, if, you know, the team hits a, hits a snag at any point that um, you guys will have a little bit more breathing room because of the extra playoff spots. I mean, I, I think that's fair. Um, you know, we're still trying to win every game. We still expect to win the division. Um, but certainly knowing that there's an expanded playoff roster, um, it's certainly, I, I mean, I understand that it's there, but for us, I don't think it really, concerns us. Um, we're still trying to be the best in the National League and, and get to the World Series and win a World Series. So um, I don't really think that that kind of expanded format really kind of bled into our clubhouse. Yeah. Were you in favor of the expansion or do you have, have any like opinions on it either way? Um, was I in favor of it? Probably not. Um, I, I think that with the shortened season as it is, it already brings in more variables, more teams, um, potentially because of the smaller uh, sample of games. Um, so then now to expand it, but I understand the game and the economics and also fan interest. It, it makes more fan bases uh, relevant to the end and also to participate in the postseason. So uh, I see both sides. Awesome, thank you. Yep. Next question from Eric Stevens, go there. Hi, Dave. Um, regarding Pollock in center, uh, you know, for most of his career, at least the publicly available stats defensively show him as a plus defender. But last year was his first year where he wasn't. Were, was there anything you were seeing last year that uh, was the reason for that? And, and how does that compare to like how, what you saw in spring and summer camp from him there this year? I think the first thing I saw this summer camp was he's a lot lighter. I think uh, even talking to AJ last year, um, he wanted to put on weight, get stronger. And um, so I, I think that he's lighter, his foot speed, he's faster this year. He feels really good. His jumps have always been good, you know, his routes to the baseball. So I know he understands center field here, the backdrop. So um, I feel very confident, obviously, with AJ playing center field and, and also to give Cody a day off. and 
keep Mookie in right. But I think that the number one thing probably is the weights down. Great. Uh, thank you. Yep. Next question from Maria Terrell. Go ahead, Maria. Hey, Dave. In, in recent days, we've heard from your players who have talked about, you know, the importance of the protocols and really sticking to them. And we've obviously seen other players that haven't stuck to them. And because this sort of affects everybody, ultimately, what, what do you think the answer might be for people just to realize, for players to realize the importance of this? I, I think like anything, Maria, you got to talk about it and you got to raise issues and hold people accountable. And so, you know, we're all in it together. We, we need every player, staff, and team to, to really participate, you know. Um, so those conversations, player to player, staff to staff, you know, through the media, whatever it be, just to kind of make sure guys are really taking this thing serious. Um, so hopefully this is the worst of it and um, we can continue to move forward. Thanks, Dave. And then one final question from Ron Cervenka. Go ahead, Ron. Uh, yeah, Dave. Last night, it, it appeared that uh, uh, Chris Taylor either injured or re-injured his right hand. Uh, is, is, is that why he's not in the lineup, or, or, or how is he? How's he doing injury-wise? Injury Chris is fine. Uh, it was uh, the, the, the pad of his thumb, his uh, left thumb which was uh, the skin was ripped off again uh, from the stolen base. So it wasn't a, a ligament, tendon, bone, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. um, he's not in the lineup today. I uh, expect him in there tomorrow. And I just wanted to, you know, with who we have, you know, I've been running him out there. He's playing really well. Um, wanted to get AJ in there, wanted to get Matt Beatty in there. So just to kind of the construction uh, of the, the lineup I don't have him in there, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in there at some point. Uh, might he come off the bench if you need him? Sure, if it makes sense, absolutely. Thank you.